In today's episode, I travel to Nice, take a promenade along the promenade, attend a tour event with some famous speakers, and watch the New Zealand versus Namibia match in an old town restaurant. But that wasn't all we got to watch. My name's Tim Tunnicliffe, host of the Amateur Rugby Podcast, and I'm here in France to show you the entirety of the Rugby World Cup. I'll be travelling the country, hitting the fan zones, showing you the in-stadium experience and getting the lowdown from all the talking points from what is sure to be an epic World Cup. Yesterday, I travelled to Toulon, showed you around this rugby mecca and watched the France versus Uruguay match in a local bar. Welcome to match day five here at the Rugby World Cup. Time to leave Toulon, where I've spent the last couple of days parked up just there. Absolutely magic. Uh, time to hit the road today, though, and go on to Nice. I've been invited to an event late this afternoon, and then it is New Zealand versus Namibia this evening. Another game that surely only one team can win, right? Well, this is a good start. Just switch the engine on, and that engine management light has gone off on its own, which I didn't think was supposed to be able to happen. Let's see how that goes. And it all seemed to go rather well as I left Toulon. Out past the stadium onto the payage. I stopped at an air to make myself a cheese and ham baguette. Grab a shower and sit down to do some video editing. They don't edit themselves, you know. And then it was back on the road. Well, I just managed to go in the wrong lane on the payage. It was a bit embarrassing to say the least. I had to press the buzzer and speak to the nice Frenchman. He laughed at me, basically. And then it was comedy gold as I was shouting credit card numbers through the telecom out that window, which he seemed to mistake every single time, <laughs> almost every time. Uh, yeah, it was a good five minutes of um, people backed up behind me, getting more and more frustrated, I'd imagine. I mean, we're through that gate now, but I've no idea what's going to happen when we get to the other end. I didn't get a ticket. I know there's no way of getting a ticket. We just, we just took money or we took my credit card details. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Time will tell. Time will tell. And it was all fine. I just drove out the far side and onwards to the magnificent Nice. Welcome to Nice. Park up. View. Oh, let's go and get amongst it. I love a good promenade and this is one of the very best. So many cool things along to see, including, look at that. I do love these. I had a brief stop at the MSG Tours event to listen to Tom May and Ali Eakin. In a 10, 15 second window, he's brilliant at what he does, annoyingly. And then it was off to the old town where Andy Baker's brother taught me some French geography. Settled in to watch New Zealand hammer Namibia. <laughs> A bold man nearly stole the show from some gymnastic Brazilians, and the Nice football fans celebrated a big win over PSG. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next one, where I'll be headed to Wales versus Portugal.